In this video, we will introduce you to using Pasco's wireless sensors with SparkView software. We have many wireless sensors available across the sciences. These are just a few of the sensors available in our wireless line. You can connect all of these wireless sensors straight into our SparkView software with no interface needed. Our wireless sensors eliminate cables that can get tangled, and they're tough enough for everyday student use. All Pasco sensors are backed by a five-year limited warranty. Our wireless sensors are affordable, so you can get more sensors for less and have smaller student lab groups. Let's look at a wireless temperature sensor. This sensor has a coin cell battery. Other sensors with a USB port have a built-in rechargeable battery. All sensors are designed for long battery life. You can get more than a year's worth of battery life out of this sensor with average use. Long press the power button to turn on a sensor. The flashing red light near the Bluetooth icon means the sensor is broadcasting and is ready to connect to SparkView software. If I don't connect the sensor to anything, it will turn itself off after a few minutes to save battery power. All of our wireless sensors can connect to your device through Bluetooth, but USB rechargeable sensors can also be connected directly to a device with a USB cable. Our wireless sensors connect to SparkView on smartphones, tablets, Chromebooks, and computers using Bluetooth. This connection process is the same on all devices because SparkView is designed to look and feel the same across all platforms. I'm going to connect the temperature sensor to this laptop through the sensor data path in SparkView. When you select sensor data, the sensor data configuration screen opens. The connected devices panel on the left shows all the sensors that are turned on and are available to connect. Our software uses proximity pairing to make it easier for students to connect the correct sensor in a classroom full of broadcasting sensors. The sensor closest to the device will be at the top of the list. I see 685-693 at the top and that matches the ID number printed on the sensor closest to me. When I'm ready to connect, I just select the sensor from the list. When a sensor is connected to a device, the red flashing light on the sensor changes to a green flashing light. In SparkView, notice how the temperature sensor is now identified as a connected device and is no longer available in the lower list. Our other temperature sensor remains available to connect and I can connect to it or additional sensors by clicking on it here in the lower list. I can see the connected temperature sensors measurement in the center panel here. If you've connected more than one sensor or a sensor with more than one measurement, such as a smart cart or a weather sensor, check only the measurements you want to display. Let's display our sensor's temperature measurement in a graph. I don't see any data in the graph, but I can see a live data preview in the bottom left corner of SparkView, so I have an idea of the current sensor reading before I start recording data. Let's start recording data. There's the air temperature. Now let's measure the temperature of the warm water in this beaker. You can see how fast the sensor responds to the new temperature, and notice how the graph automatically scales to fit the data as it is collected. We'll know that we've reached the actual water temperature when the graph levels off and stabilizes. Oops. <laughs> but look, the sensor is still working. Wireless sensors commonly used with solutions such as temperature, pH, and conductivity are water resistant. For long-term experiments, you may not want to continuously stream data to your computer. For example, if you want to measure the overnight change in carbon dioxide inside this chamber, you can use the remote logging path in SparkView to set up the sensor to record data without being connected to a device. We've covered the basic features of our wireless sensors. If you have older passport sensors, you can connect them wirelessly with the AirLink interface. You can plug passport sensors into the AirLink interface and connect them to SparkView the same way you connect any other wireless sensor. If you'd like to learn more about our growing line of wireless sensors, please visit pasco.com wireless.